This is all that's left of a 330-year-old inn on Nantucket after fire ripped through it this morning, sending guests scrambling into the street. And tonight, a fire captain and some nearby residents are getting praise for helping folks evacuate. Good evening to you. I'm Ken McLeod. That firefighter is in the hospital tonight. We get more now from WBZ's Brandon Truitt. Chaos Saturday morning in the normally quaint and quiet streets of Nantucket. It definitely is the largest fire that I have ever covered. David Creed is a senior reporter with the Nantucket Current. He says he could see the smoke from about a mile away. Once I got to the resort, it was just engulfed in flames. The fire department tells us this started just before 7 a.m. Flames spreading quickly through all four floors, even reaching several other nearby buildings. These images from the Yarmouth Fire Department showed their crews making their way over to help. The Veranda House Hotel had just been renovated two years ago, but the entire building went up in minutes. It felt like every time they were starting to get, you know, get, get control of the fire, it would just, there'd be more, there'd be new flames there'd be more smoke. The bed and breakfast was packed with people. The Nantucket Fire Department saying a lot of life were saved thanks to an off-duty firefighter. The Nantucket Current reporting that it was Captain Nate Barber who jumped into action, said to have been grabbing a coffee when he saw the flames and ran inside. The Veranda House Hotel released this statement moments ago saying, we can confirm that all employees and guests are safely evacuated and accounted for. The hotel also thanking firefighters for their quick action. It was nearly seven hours of exhausting work putting the flames out. The hotel is a shell of what it used to be, but the memories remain. It's unfortunate because it was a very popular hotel. There's a lot of historic buildings downtown here in Nantucket, but that was one of the uh, most notable one. And you can see part of that collapse happening here. I'm told that Captain Nate Barber is known around the island. Creed says no one there is surprised that he would do this kind of thing. The captain is one of three firefighters recovering with non-life-threatening injuries. Brandon Truitt, WBZ News.